Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you all a short and simple video and how to animate your name. Um, I chose GMS. Um, you can choose a nickname of your own if you like, if you're worried about your own name being kind of long. Just just choose something. Um, it can be your name, of course, but it can be a nickname or just your initials as well if you like. So let me just talk to you about this. Uh, I chose GMS. I have a background and if I click on the green flag up here the letters start rotating um, 15 degrees clockwise and change color and that's what this section of code does here when green flag clicked forever turn 15 degrees and change color effect by 25 uh, the number of degrees actually doesn't really matter as long as you put it in a forever loop. The change color effect, you can customize that if you like. And if I hit the space key, it will stop all. And now if you look down here, this is actually just selected on S, but I did make the G, M, and S all stop when I press space. So I'm going to hit space now. They stop, they're upside down. And then you'll see this block of code here. When this sprite clicked, point in direction 90, so like a 90 degrees. And what that should do is correct it to its starting position. So if I click on G, it goes back to the original. M and S, back to the original. Okay, so now I'm going to basically show you how to do that yourself. I'm going to start by saying file and new. And when you open up a new project, you're always met with this sprite character, the cat. I'm going to delete it. Don't need it right now. I'm going to choose a background, a backdrop. So you click on that. You can upload your own or you can select from any of the ones that are available here. <coughs> so um, let's see. can be anyone. I'm going to go with Jurassic. Always a good movie. Watch Jurassic Park. I'm going to click choose a sprite. I'm scrolling down to the bottom of the page. And I'm going to click on G. So there's my G, and you can drag and move it around the screen if you like. Here's our code blocks up here. So what we're going to do first is an event. So we're going to say when this flag is clicked, I'll pull that out. That's this flag here. What do you want to happen when this flag is clicked? Okay, so you want to have some motion. We want it to turn 15 degrees. So... When I click on that, it just goes like this. That would mean I would have to continuously click on the flag to make the G go around. So what we're going to do to make this a little easier for ourselves is go to Control, pull out a forever, put the turn 15 degrees inside in the forever block, connect it to when flag clicked, so that when we click on it now, the G is just going to keep going forever. Another thing I had earlier was what? It was changing the colors. Yes, that's right. So we're going to go to looks. And you could actually have it changing the backgrounds too, if you like, every time. I'm going to put the color effect in again. So now the color changes in the G by 25. What else should I be able to do? I should be able to stop it. So let's go and get a new event. Just for some variety, I'm going to use the when space, when the space key is pressed, stop everything. So what we're going to do is scroll down. To stop all. And then go to events. When this sprite clicked. point in direction 90. So space key, sprite click, 